Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is May 30th, 2024. We are in the Old Testament book of Joel. All right, we're going to finish it off today. We're going to read chapter 2, verse 28, all the way to the end, 3, verse 21. All right, well, Joel, one of the minor prophets, and like most of the prophets in the Bible, his prophecies seem to come in fulfilled in threes. Uh, to, the, to the first fulfillment is to the people that he's actually writing to, back in 700 BC, or 500 BC, I'm sorry. Then there's the fulfillment with the Messiah, with Jesus in the first century, and then there's that ultimate fulfillment at, in, in the end time, on the Day of Judgment. Joel's no different. We're going to kind of run through all three of those here, boom, boom, boom. Uh, God's promises, he's going to pour out his blessings on us. If, we, if we're obedient to him and, and, and we trust in him, he'll pour out his, his blessings on us. We, we might have some hard times, but he's going to pull us through. He's going to bring us back to him. He, whether it's locusts or, or armies back in 500 BC, God will get them through if they trust him. Uh, we trust in the Messiah. God will bring us through. On the day of judgment, when God calls his, his people back to himself, we will be in that group, and that's a pretty good thing, if you ask me. So let's go ahead, and we're going to read Joel, chapter 2, verse 28 to 321. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke, and the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will enter into judgment with them there on account of my people, my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. They have also divided up my land. They have cast lots for my people, have given a boy as payment for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Indeed, what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coasts of Philistia? Will you retaliate against me? But if you retaliate against me swiftly and speedily, I will return your retaliation upon your own head, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my prized possessions. Also the people of Judah and the people of Jerusalem, you have sold to the Greeks that you may remove them far from their borders. Behold, I will raise them out of the place to which you have sold them and will return your retaliation upon your own head. I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off. For the Lord has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble and come, all you nations, and gather together all around, cause your mighty one cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Lord. Let the nations be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the surrounding nations, put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, go down, for the winepress is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon will go dark, and the stars will diminish their brightness. The Lord also will roar from, will roar from Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. The heavens and the earth will shake, but the Lord will be a shelter for his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So you shall know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem shall be holy, and no alien shall ever pass through her again. And it will come to pass that in that day that the mountains shall drip with new wine, the hills shall flow with milk, and all the brooks of Judah shall be flooded with water. A, mount, a fountain shall flow from the house of the Lord, and water the valley of Acacias. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom a desolate wilderness, because of violence against the people of Judah. For they have shed innocent blood in their land, but Judah shall abide forever. And Jerusalem from generation to generation, for I will acquit them of the guilt of bloodshed, whom I had not acquitted, for the Lord dwells in Zion. May God bless reading of his word, may God bless you. Bye.